On August 29th, Gavin Heslop, TJ Morrison, and Tykel Fields stepped on the field for Stony Brook as the Seawolves opened the 2019 season against Bryant University. This wasn't the first time the trio started a game together, just the first time since high school at Archbishop Stepanak in 2014. But their bond goes back farther than that, all the way to their days playing for the Yonkers Gladiators Pop Warner team. My first year playing tackle football, I was seven, but TJ's older brother had played in the same program. He was playing, he was playing on, on a 10-year-old team, I think. I remember I went to all the practices and all the games and like I would see them having fun like playing. And I was like, man, they look like they having fun. Like and then my brother would look like he was having fun. So I was like, I'm missing out on something. So then like we just I just started playing with them and they just took me in like it wasn't it wasn't no like problems or anything. And then I was just like, oh I feel like natural, like a couple years later, a family friend would convince Tykel to give football a try. And from there, the duo would become a trio. My first day at practice, uh, you know, I saw all these guys, they were pretty good already. I wasn't really, I wasn't really that good or whatever. So I started off playing line, right guard. I won, I won another 99 or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so we went through all of that. And you know, as the time went on, we, I started building like relationships with them. I started getting more comfortable with the team and it just took off from there. After their Pop Warner years, the three friends would play on different teams, but eventually reunited on the same field at Archbishop Stepanak. They would lead the Crusaders to back-to-back -back New York State Championship games, winning the title in 2015. When I first got there, I played varsity right away. And, um, he played JV, played freshman. But um, and he was a star in JV and he was a star in freshman. And I was, I was a super sophomore, so it's like, you know, we all had that connection, you know, that star connection. We, we knew that it was that eventually it was going to happen. Seeing it all come together was just like, like I said, it was like magical. Like me and Gab both play corners, so we were both yeah. on opposite sides of the field, and we would look at each other, and we would know, like, just have that chemistry. And then Tykel's on offense, controlling the offense, and then yeah. everybody was just so good at what they did, it brought the team together, and we just had like a complete talented team. And we also were surrounded by a lot of talent. And then when Gav went to college, and then it was just me and Kels, I played more. I played more offense. I was a starter on offense and receiver, and we just had the chemistry because we were best friends off the field. And then on the field, it was like we didn't miss a beat. Yeah. So then it was just like everything just just played out perfectly. With Gavin being a year older, his journey to Stony Brook University would begin first, getting noticed at a camp in Pennsylvania. And I saw this long kid just, you know, look like a baby deer just running around. And, uh, I said, wow, this kid is interesting. He was there with another uh, uh, teammate. And um, I, I just thought those guys looked the part and they looked, you know, a little bit underdeveloped, but I could tell that they were phenomenal athletes. So, you know, one thing led to the next and we just started recruiting the kids. I felt uh, comfortable here, you know, felt wanted, you know, that was most important. You know, they did their best. They did the best they can do to get me here. and. Uh, I feel like they went above and beyond, you know, to to really, you know, make me interested in coming. And so I, I just just felt I just felt home. And the reasons that led Gavin to Stony Brook would also end up taking TJ and Tykel from the city to the island. When I committed, I kind of looked at him. Right? So I was just like, I gave him that look like, no, yeah. <laughs> if you want, you know what I'm saying? We could bring it up to college and we get all three weapons back. He was committed, Gavin was already here, and DeMarcus, DeMarcus Miller was here too. So I already had three, three or three of my teammates on the same team. So that, you know, that definitely played a, played, a, played a role in it. Gavin, TJ, and Tykel's bond has been a key to helping them improve their game, but also represents the culture and atmosphere that Stony Brook is cultivating. Being comfortable where you are is most important. And you know, having them here is like, I'm, comfortable here, you know, it's like, I, I'm here with two two brothers right now, like, you know, I can go to them, I can go to them about anything. When I go into a school and, and this is what I'm describing, and when they actually come on campus here, this is what they see. They see a bunch of brothers, they always together and things like that. You know, how you see them today is how you always see these guys. It's not only us though, it's not only just us three on the team that's, you know, family, it's the whole team, you know. You know, if you, you're playing for family, you know, you're playing, it's, it's bigger than just football. So, 
definitely plays a, a huge role in, in, in success on the field. As if you you know you know what your brother going through, you know what your you know what your friend going through, you know that that helps you play even harder. You know what I mean? So it's like that's that's unmatchable.